So you just heard it quite a bit. Average temperature or normal rainfall when you're hearing one of our weather forecasts. Now, while the terms are similar on a meteorological scale, there are some key differences. We actually use this data to track trends in our monsoon, but this data also has a large impact on everything from agriculture to energy. The term average is a calculation. However, climate normals are not so basic. Normals are the daily, monthly, or yearly averages over a specific 30-year period. They provide a standard for our surroundings. The reason why we have these normals uh, is because we're in a non-stationary climate, and so our climate is changing over time. Climate normals are used to get a better understanding of the conditions around us. Normals help to evaluate drought levels so local leaders can determine how much conservation is needed. Also, normals will help the agriculture industry estimate the expected length of a growing season so farmers know to plant or plow. And in the energy sector, they're actually hoping for a more recent normal period than the current 30-year span. They're pushing for a five-year baseline. I've heard it most around the, the energy sector, um, where they're even interested in, in having just like, oh, we want to use actually what's happened in the past five years as our, as our base period, because in terms of you know, energy use or consumption related to things like heat, um, or cold spells, um, that's been changing a lot and they want the most recent data to be able to make these decisions about you know, how much uh, energy is, is going to be needed. When it comes to the norms of a monsoon season here in Arizona, well, it's a little trickier. One big storm could easily skew the bell curve of that mathematical equation. We know compared to previous years, the last two seasons have been dry. Overall, based on the norms, Phoenix is seeing less rainfall during our core monsoon months to the tune of roughly a tenth of an inch. That seems relatively small, but then when you add that up over the season, you know, it, it's showing a, a drier monsoon pattern overall. And of course, there's still a lot of variability there. Like you said, um, there's been some really, really dry monsoon years in the past few years, but also some very wet years, but what that tells me is that the drier years are probably more frequent than those really wet years that we're seeing. Okay, so new normals, they're released every 10 years, and right now our norms are based on the years spanning from 1991 to 2020. The newest data set, it's going to be released in May of 2031.